the National Broadcasting Company presents Lights Out, a summer revival of the famous series which many of our listeners will remember. Tonight's story, the sixth in the series, is called The Ghost on the Newsreel Negative. Lights Out, everybody. This is the witching hour. The hour when dogs howl and evil is let loose on a sleeping world. Sit in the dark now and listen to Lights Out. Where do you suppose we are, Martin? How do I know where we are? You're the driver. Yeah, I'm the driver. Only you're supposed to tell me where you want to go, you know. I told you. Yeah. You know what you said? You said we're going to a farm out on Route 330, about halfway between Dundee and Algonquin. I remember, yeah. Uh-huh. And I'm supposed to be a mind reader. Sure you are. Well, I would be if you had a mind to read. Nuts, Mr. Lynn. <laughs> and nuts to you, Mr. Barnett. Well, ain't we about there? How do I know? Oh, I should have known that. Well, you're a wise guy. You're the great cameraman. You know everything. Oh, shut up. Well, look. We're about halfway between Dundee and Algonquin now. The sign at Dundee said five miles to Algonquin. And the speedometer said 93331. It says 93333 now. Goody, you can read. Now, listen. Half of five is two and a half. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And 93,331 to 93,333 is two miles. Uh, yeah. Therefore, Mr. Barnett, therefore, I'll bet you that that place right up there is the place where we're going. Huh? What place? Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> now we've got that settled. What are we going to do when we get there? I am going to make a story, and you're going to catch the noise on it. <laughs> you killed me, Martin. All right. Now? Huh? No. I mean, what kind of story? Ghosts. Ghosts? Or goats? Oh, I know that story. Ghosts. Hey, do you believe in ghosts, Wick? Well, uh, I ain't never seen one. But don't let that worry you. You're gonna. <laughs> Says you. Uh, go on, drive in that gate there. Oh, that one, dummy. I got it. Where's these ghosts? Don't you ever read the papers? I don't get enough money to buy papers. What's it about? This here... Hey, stop right there, I guess. This here is the ghost farm. Yeah? So what? So? We come to make pictures of the ghosts. Now, uh, set up a bar... Here, I guess, where we get the old house and the barn in a picture. Uh, I'll go see if I can find anybody. There don't seem to be anybody around. Must be somebody. I'll go see. Don't get bit by a ghost. <laughs> I won't. Here, let's make it as snappy as we can, huh? So we can get back to town. What's the matter? Ghost get me a pal? <laughs> no kidding. Did you ever see such a deserted-looking dump? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if a ghost jumped right up out of the ground. Let you fellas walk here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where'd you come from? <laughs> I was right around on the other side of the wagon. Where'd you walk here? Uh, I, uh, I'm Martin Barnett, uh, Paragon News. Uh, this is, uh, Whit, my noise catcher. Uh, hello. What you want? Well, is this the, uh, ghost farm? <laughs> ghost farm? Where'd you get that idea? Well, papers. Oh, yes. All them silly stories in the papers. <laughs> yes, I guess this here is the place you're looking for. 
what you want. Well, we uh, want to make some newsreel pictures. You know, movies. Um, oh, I was working for Mr. Tracy. Tracy? Yeah, Ty owns a place. Oh. He ain't here. He, uh... Hey? No. Well, uh, uh, maybe this guy, uh, uh, gentleman can tell us, Martin. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, say, uh, about this ghost business. Is it a real ghost, mister? Is there a real ghost here? Do you know anything about it? Do I know anything about it? <laughs> <laughs> I am the ghost. Gosh, he scared me out of six years' growth. He said he was the ghost man. What about me? I swallowed my chewing tobacco. <laughs> Doggone old fool. He's got the dirtiest laugh I ever heard in all my life. Ain't he, though? I wish he'd come back. I want to get the story made and get back to town before it gets dark. You better if they're going to get out a special on it tonight. Yeah. I don't know why Red don't think of these things soon enough. He gets his brainstorms all of a sudden. Never wants to get stuff out for every theater in Chicago by 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon. And... And the great Barnett has to go out and shoot him. So shut up and wind up your Kodak. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Here comes old Screwy again. Mm, it's about time. Hey, uh, Wick. Uh, what exposure would you give out here? Mm, about, uh, four or five, I think. Uh, it's getting kind of dark. I think five, six would do it. You're the cameraman. If you don't get your shots, it's you, Red will murder. Maybe it better be four or five. Well, are you ready to make your movie pitches now? Uh, yeah, yeah, if you are. What do you want me to do? Well, first I want a shot of the house in the barn. So you better go back and come walking out of the house, and I'll pan after you while you walk to the barn. Then you can come over here, and I'll make an interview. Hey, uh, wait, you can talk to him, huh? I suppose so. I don't get paid for it, though. Oh, right, go ahead, mister. Hey, just walk out of the house to the barn, eh? Yeah, that's right. I'll holler for you to come up. <laughs> yes, all right. <laughs> Just that laugh he is enough to scare anybody. I no wonder people think he's a ghost. He's not even a fruitcake. So what? <laughs> so are we. Well, we get out of a newsreel business. Um, he's waiting for you, hot shot. Oh, you all set? I've been all set for an hour. Oh, all right, all right. Here we go. Go ahead, mister. Okay? Okay. All right, come on back, mister. Don, if you don't look like a ghost. This whole place looks ghostly enough for me. I'll be glad when we get back to town. Me too. Did you get it? Did you get my picture? Sure, we never miss much. What do you want me to do now? Well, look, uh, look, you stand there. No, 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 there. That's it. Now, uh, listen, uh, when I start the camera, you just tell in your own words how you do this ghost business, will you? You want me to talk? Yeah, that's it. Uh, set the microphone over closer, with. Yes, Mr. Barnett. Uh, put it on the running board. Yes, Mr. Barnett. You just want me to talk, huh? That's it. I just tell how I'm the ghost and what I do and everything, huh? Yeah, yeah. And then in a minute or two, Mr. Whittle will step up alongside you. He'll ask you some questions. All you've got to do is answer them, see? You say what's what, huh? That's it. Just say, uh, uh what's what? <laughs> I'll motion to you, Whit, when you're to step in. Uh, what'll I say? Who do you think of something to say? You're a smart sound expert. It's nuts. I ain't getting paid for that. You do as you're told. Yes, Mr. Barnett. Yes, Mr. Barnett. Shut but... up. Yes, Mr. Barnett. Uh, you ready, uh, Mr., um, yeah. Mr., uh, Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Now, well, okay, now. Uh, do that there dirty laugh of yours. Go ahead. Now. Now? Yeah, now. I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I'm the ghost. I'm the ghost that haunts this here place. You want to know how I do it? Well, sir, at night I go around and look into windows. And when people see me staring in with my eyes all wide like this, <laughs> when 
time they see me, they scream and shiver. I'd like to pass out. Yes, sir. I'm a ghost. A doggone good ghost, if you ask me. <laughs> Go ahead, wait. <clears throat> and, uh... How long have you been haunting this farm, Mr. Ghost? Uh, more years than you'd think I've been a haunting it. Yes, sir. Is that so? Well, uh, you suppose you could give us a sample of your uh, very ghostliest laugh? I sure can. <laughs> 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 That's fine. Uh, and uh, do you believe in ghosts yourself? Do I? <laughs> do I? I am a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, okay. That, that, that's enough. My gosh, mister. What's the matter? I scare you? <laughs> I don't scare you, see? You don't, huh? Well, what's that behind you? <laughs> oh, talk on your way. <laughs> what's that behind you? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look, mister, I, I, I'm sorry. I, don't do that again. I won't, and don't do any more of that laughing again, mister. <laughs> what, 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 what's that? Uh, that? <laughs> That's... Sister. Sister? Sure. She helps me haunt the place. Have you got a sister? Sure. She's in the house there. She's bedridden, though. She ain't been out of bed for 29 years. Oh. She... She? No. She screams right well enough, though, don't she? She... She sure does. Hey, Martin. Uh, listen... That would make a swell shot, too. The, the old gal and him in that old rattletrap house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only how are we going to do it? Well, I'll put some photo floods in a reflector and run them off the battery, huh? Well, uh... Yeah. Uh, you ought to take some pictures of my sister. Uh... Yeah. Uh, well, uh, Go ahead, Wit. Sure, this ought to be a swell... Me? Sure. Go ahead. Well, well uh, Wait till I get the lamps. Yeah. <laughs> She'll be tickled, my sister will. She had her picture to that you little gal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh, what if Fred doesn't like this story? Well, I'm... I... Uh, go ahead. Shall, shall I take the sound on this, too? Might as well. Uh, got a long enough line? Yeah, yeah. You go ahead with the camera. Uh, uh, step right this way, mister. Martin, suppose the old gal's is none of your seers. Boy, am I going to be glad to get out of this. Yeah, me too. Right in here. Careful of the back porch. The board is kind of rotten. Ellie! I brought a couple of young fellers. Wants to take your picture. That's fine, Stanley. I'll hold the door open. Go ahead. Here, fella. Kind of dark. We ain't got no electric lights. Which way now? Right in here. Careful, you don't bump yourself. Yeah. Where are you, Wet? I'm coming. Hey, ain't you got no lights at all? Not a darn thing. Well, hurry up with them photo floods, Wet. I'll be right there. You brung your own lights, mister? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I hope they won't blind you. They're pretty bright. Ouch! Oh, shall I set them up here? Get off my foot! Oh, is that your foot? What'd you think it was? I thought it was a suitcase. You be careful now. Stanley, you tell them to be careful. I don't want you to set fires or nothing. <laughs> They'll be careful, Ellie. This is the darkest place I've ever been in my life. Do you think I like it? Where's your lights? Don't set fire to nothing. Uh, we, we won't. Uh, just a minute now. Can I have my picture, too? 
<laughs> you can talk whilst they're making the picture, Ellie. Gonna make a moving picture of me. <laughs> Already, Martin. Already. Turn your lights on. <clears throat> there ain't anybody there. Oh, my. Yeah. Just be patient. He may... That voice. I heard her. Don't you boys worry now. Them lights may be just a little bright. Ellie never was one to shine out very strong. Martin. Martin, what do we do now? I know what I want to do. Start making your picture. That's what you come in here for, ain't it? That's what one. Why, Ellie, of course. But there's, there's nobody there. Well, I guess there is. If you don't believe me, uh, uh, just look at these covers. Martin, Martin, those, those covers, they, they, they move. Yeah, of course. There, young man, maybe that'll convince you. Well, let's get on with it. Yeah, thanks. Stanley, is my hair all right? Sure, Ellie. Look real pretty. Uh, look, mister, are you sure? Young man. I'm losing the patience. You want to come in here and take a picture of my sister? Well, take it. But I don't see anything. She's there, just as plain as the nose on your face. Uh, plainer than your nose. Well, but... I think you'd better take the picture. It's just the bike disappointed you. He's dead to start haunting you, too. Oh, no, 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 Would, would you mind telling me your name? I sure would. Thanks. Uh, well, can, can you tell me just uh, how you go about this haunting business? No, I don't mind. Well, I, I mean, uh, uh, how do you do it? Well, first I start off by being invisible. Uh, you mean like you are now? You mean? Ain't I showing at all? Uh, no, no, you ain't showing. Yes, like that then. And then when I find someone I want to scare, I just make myself visible like this. <laughs> and then I scream like this. Can't we go any faster? Shut up. I'm scared myself now. Don't use that word. All right. We'll be back in town now. I never thought that they would come when I'd be glad to see war back there. What did you back there? I don't know. She screamed. The lights went up. The lights started running. Fine thing. So what did you do? I just grabbed the camera. Started running. That was better, huh? Well, at least I have the camera. Let's all be here instead of sending me out on another assignment like this. I'll, I'll, I'll quit. And if we don't get a bonus for this strip of film, I'll, I'll quit too. Uh, we got it, Red. Uh, we got it. Uh, 
Can we have a drink? There's the water cooler. All right. All right. There's a bottle in my desk. Now, come on, Chris. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's this all about? Right, that place. It's the Willis. Well, ain't that just it? Did you see a ghost in Bosey or something, Martin? Gosh, Rick, we sure thought we did. Uh, I should say so. Well, that's just ducky. So what? You first been sucking on a bottle? If you oh, had... No, 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 Come on, Martin. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he's the scariest looking guy you ever seen. He's our old screwy guy. Nuttier than a noise catcher. Hey. Shut up. And he's a man full of questions. Never mind his religion. Go on. Well, he, he's the ghost. He goes around and hollers. Ooh, and he looks just like a real ghost. He's got the dickens out of him. Wait a minute now. One at a time. What did he do? Well, that darnest thing. He thought he was taking us into the house when he said his sister was. And we could hear her talking to him. And him, too. And when I turned on the lights, well, there was nobody there. What? That's a fake red. He run out on us or something. Have you been drinking again when I told you right? Tell us, Will. Take it on number two line. Okay. Wait right here, you two. Hello. Turn on. Oh. Give us a breath, Oh, hello, Mr. Casey. What? Say that again. Well, they did, huh? They're right here now. Yeah, both of them. Sure, wait a minute. Where did you first say you'd been this afternoon? Why, at the ghost farm, Ray. At the ghost farm. You're sure about that? Well, sure, of course we were. They say they were there all afternoon, Mr. Tracy. Huh? Well, call me back in about ten minutes. I'm going to find out about this. Okay. Yeah. Now, you. He's what's this all about? You're trying to rib on me? Well, what's the matter, Red? Yeah, well, what's the matter, Red? That was Tracy, the guy that owns the ghost farm. He said he's been waiting since 11 o'clock for you two to show up. And there ain't been a sign of a newsreel man out there all day. So what's the answer to that one? Sure we was there. Well, we'll find out whether you were there or not in about two minutes. You first are kind of... Hey, Harold, how about that film? Just coming out of the dryer, Red. Did I have to get ready for the trip? No, bring the negative in here first and run it through the movie over. Oh. Oh, well, it could have been at the wrong place, Red. The old guy said he was a ghost. Yeah. Sure he says he's on your proof, the two. Yeah? Well, we'll see. I tell you, Red... You ain't telling me nothing. Listen, you make a shot of that interior... What interior? The interior where you say you heard the old lady and then she was gone. Oh, that interior. Did you make a shot of that? Well, yeah, yeah. We, we started to shoot. We got it about 50 feet when all at once this gal screams, our lights go off. So we just grabbed the equipment and screamed. We were scared. I think the photo bloods are still there. Well, for your sake, I hope they ain't. My God. Uh, oh, yeah. Red, Bill's dry. Bring it in here. Oh. Yeah, get me now. Hey, you, Bert. Let's see. Come into the movie all and if you got a picture, okay. But if you ain't, you better get your hats and coats on and... We should make a picture right out of it. And we'll, we'll see in a minute. Well, we did, Brad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll find out. But, Brad... Listen, you trying to talk me out of this? Gee, let's go. Well, shut up, then. Okay. All right, turn out the lights. Red. Turn out the lights. Now we'll see. Uh, Get your skull out of the way so I can see with. Uh, just a couple of old silks. House and butter. The old guy will be there in a minute. Yeah, I hope so. Standing from the house to the farm. What? Yeah. I don't say nothing yet. Oh, wait. Station now. Right, really? I don't know. Look, background's out of focus now. Out of focus now? Yes. Yeah? yeah? Well, where is he? I don't know. Uh huh. He'll, he'll be there in a minute. Yeah. He'll be there. Uh, what happened, right? I shut it off. Oh, listen, you lugs. 
You think for one lousy minute that you can get away with that but kind of thing? But he was there. there. Yeah, he was there. Want to stick together, huh? Well, you're both fired. Oh, oh gee, man. Man. And if you don't get out of my sight before I Wait, Fred, wait. What's the matter? The south track, Red. Well, what about it? There's something on it. What? Let me see. Yes, sir. Voices, I can tell. Rewind it. Quick, Red. Rewind it. If you're pulling it. Oh, all right. Have the speaker turned on, Red. Keep your lips to yourself. I'll turn it on. Go ahead, Red. Turn it on for the love of my it. You're trying to take your throat. No sound yet. No. That's that's just the Martin Pants that followed him from the house to the bar. Now, now, wait till the background jumps out of focus. That'll be the second scene where the old guy was... Oh, no, no. I'm in it. What? Listen. <laughs>